Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting, Google is busy ending support for third-party cookies in Chrome that are going to be replaced by a feature that Google is calling Privacy Sandbox. Now, Privacy Sandbox is a feature that's still in preview in the stable version. And I did post a video on Privacy Sandbox just the other day, a couple of days ago, which I'll leave a link to in the description. But just a quick recap. With Privacy Sandbox trials, Google says sites can deliver the same browsing experience using less of your info, which means more privacy for you and less cross-site tracking. And if you want more in-depth info regarding Privacy Sandbox, just do a search on the channel, as I have posted quite a couple of videos previously. Now getting back to uh, the end of support for third-party cookies. In Chrome Canary version 117, which is the latest preview version, in regards to this, Google has now added a new flag an experimental flag in Chrome Canary to test third-party cookie phase-out. Now to get to and enable the flag, as always, we head up to the address bar and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And the flag is called test third-party cookie phase-out. And to bring up the relevant flag, just type in test third, and there we go, test third-party cookie phase-out. Now the description reads, enable to test third-party cookie phase-out, and here's the important bit. Enabling this flag also enables Fed CM and third-party storage partitioning. And that third-party storage partitioning is the important bit. And in case you're unaware what that is all about, basically to prevent certain types of site channel cross-site tracking, Chrome is partitioning storage and communications APIs in third-party contexts. So that's what third-party storage partitioning is. Now, Google says without storage partitioning, a site can join data across different sites to track the user across the web. So that's why they are testing this feature, Privacy Sandbox, which is going to prevent different sites from tracking you across the web. So that's basically in a nutshell what Privacy Sandbox is all about. And heading back to Chrome Canary. So enabling this flag, what it's going to do, it's going to do two things. So if we just enable that and we relaunch Chrome 117 to apply that flag, the first thing it's going to do as mentioned, it's going to prevent the different sites from tracking you across the web by enabling third-party storage partitioning. And then the next thing it's going to do, if we just head to my YouTube channel as an example, just to demonstrate for the purpose of today's video, you're also going to see the R icon now in the top right. So that's that R icon with a little line through it. And you're going to see the R icon now in the address bar every time you visit a site. And this little R icon tells you how many third-party cookies are being blocked on any given site. And just to bring up another example, just head to another website, just to demonstrate. And there's the R icon again. And we click on that. And it says one third-party cookie is being blocked. So that's basically what that's all about. And this is obviously a Google getting the browser ready in early days, early phases. But nonetheless, they get in uh, the Google Chrome uh, web browser ready for the end of support for third-party cookies, which as far as I know, uh, should be in effect by the end of next year, 2024. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.